YouTube, we are back. So, push day today for me. Um, push day kind of feels like a rest day. No, it doesn't really. It's going to be a hard one, but we're down um, at Old School Gyms, which is a really cool facility. It's got some really nice bits of kit here. I like traveling to different gyms for different bits of kit sometimes. So, um, yeah, we're going to get this in. Current update with me, I'm possibly, yeah, the heaviest I've ever been, which is hard at times, but also fun because I'm the strongest I've ever been. Spoke to Carl last week, said about should we do a mini cut, pull it back because I'm 2.20, 2 2.22 2 in the morning. So um, the goal was 2.25 by the end of the year, which is another eight months off. Um, but I'm still in good body comp. So we was, the plan was thinking about pulling it back and then also uh, then pushing back up. But he's decided to keep pushing, which is a nightmare because my food's that high. But it, it's just a necessary. The longer you can stay in a surplus, the better. So. Yeah, it should be pretty strong today. Got some good bits of uh, Nautilus kit here that we're going to be able to use. Um, so I'm going to take you through a push session, see what I do, see how I set it up and why I set it up that way. So let's go. Ooh. Casual. Hey guys. No, um, so how I set up my push days is I tend to start with the things that I'm the weakest on. So I'm trying to bring out more side delt right now purely for the fact that it's going to make me look wider on stage and bring more V taper. So I'm going to start with three sets of side laterals to pre-exhaust the, the delts. Then I'll move on to a shoulder press um, second, then a chest press and then a tricep press. I tend to group all my compounds together and then do my isolations after it. Um, but we'll run through it as we do it. So again, same sort of setup as normal as a warm up on this. I just do some feeler sets, warm up, get as much blood around the delts as I possibly can and then I'll start working into my heavy sets. I tend to do a higher rep set first, so maybe a 10 to 12 rep set, then I'll go to a 6 to 9 and then a really high set like a 20 15. But I'll, uh, with this what you want to think about is rather than going up, a lot of people they end up bringing their traps into play, you want to think about pushing your elbows out. And even with the handles, I don't hold the handles. I just push through my elbows rather than actually you grip with my forearms and push up. It's uh, a lot of people I see do that wrong and bringing their traps into place, just trying to lift too heavy. Ooh. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So why I use a machine over dumbbells is because it allows me to control the, every portion of the rep. So with a dumbbell, what, what I tend to do is I'll throw them up powerfully and then it's hard to hold the, um, the isometric bit at the top and control the negative with this. You can exert every single aspect of the, the rep. You can control the negative really well. I just found it builds my delts a lot better rather than using a lot of inertia where I'm swinging and throwing up the dumbbells, especially if you get strong and you've got anything over like 20, 25k dumbbells, it's hard to keep them controlled. Um, I find this is a lot more isolating on the side delts. So I would pick this over a dumbbell. Now that we've pre-exhausted obviously the side delts, again, as I spoke about earlier, because I'm really trying to prioritize my medial delt and make myself wider, it, it's beneficial to put that first and the press in motion. Now I'll move on to a shoulder press. I know, yeah, get the bulge. Let me get some blood in there. Let me get some fucking blood in it. That's the same, isn't it, though? Like how when you see people using bits of kit, you're like, oh, 
You just want to see how, like, when I did with Jordan's leg press, I was like, okay, like, he's got 32 reps for 40, uh, 400. I was like, four, I think it was 420 or 410 for like 33. There was no way I was stopping. It fucking killed me. Oh. Hey. That's the goal, isn't it? Eurus. Shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up. That knocked some sense into me. Um, RS, you're not a fan? No, RS, no. RS6? The, Q, the Q8. The nah. Or GLE. What about the, uh, what's it? Begins with B. The, yeah, Bramus, Bramus. Yeah, sick. Shut up, the floor. Wait. Easy. Let's go. Fucking facials. Woo! Bad, bad, bad boy. Woo! Sometimes because of the intensity, obviously, that we train at, I think you can come across as like a bit of a fucking angry fucker, but I'm actually really nice. So I just don't like anybody feeling like they can't jump in on my exercise or they have to avoid me while I'm training. So just try and be nice to everybody. Sometimes. Apart from legs, legs just fucking leave me alone. That's why I won't train with me. Yeah. That's why. Let's go. What, 20 on that? Uh, yeah, I'll grab him in a So, we've done um, side laterals into a shoulder press. Now this will be a slight incline press. I'm not a fan of flat presses, even though it's got, they've got the Nautilus, like Gymshop Nautilus copy that I do like. I prefer to lift on a slight incline just to bring this upper chest involved. Um, so we're gonna do, I've already got my numbers set on. I've already got my numbers set on this, so I'm just gonna, my heart was telling me to do the Nautilus press, but my brain is telling me to do this and stay on the same path as I've been doing. So we're just doing an incline press. Two sets here, maybe one or two sets. Yep. One, two, three. Right, let's go. PB. Again, with every lift now, there's an all time PB, so that's 2.5 kilo up. I wanted six, I got five and three quarters. But again, it's new territory, so we'll just stay on that weight as of next week and just keep building that up till we get to nine. And then once you hit, I could either get some extenders from gym pin or, uh, or if I feel like this is gonna be too much for me, I'll just change the exercise out, maybe move on to dumbbells. And then that's when, it's only at that point will I change the exercise is when I've reached what I feel is like the maximum amount of load that I can either get on the machine safely or, or the amount of reps that I can get. So that's when I would take, I would take out a, an exercise. Everybody asks me, when do I change the exercise out? Only when I've maxed it out and I don't feel like I can make any more progress on that. Oi, oi, oi. 
Not that I did deadlifts yesterday, right? So we're going to use a pin-loaded um, tricep dip. The reason I like to use the pin load is just purely for the fact that the handles are narrower, so I can keep more emphasis, but yeah, emphasis on my triceps rather than my chest and shoulders. When it grips wider, you lean forward, you tend to lean forward and bring your chest and shoulders into it. I just want to keep all this on my triceps. Just keep moving the fucking machine. That turned into a set, 14. Yeah, sometimes like even on a warm set, if I feel like it's good to go, I'll just continue the set. <sighs> so the hardest bit on this now is getting it down for the first one. Like, look it up. So that's the compound movements done. What I mean by compound movements is just shoulder press, dips, things that incorporate other muscles to obviously perform the movements. And now we're gonna move on to isolation. So I tend to do three compound movements, shoulder press, chest press, dips. And now I'll move on to a pec deck, um, some other form of side lateral just with a dumbbell but partial reps, and then a lot of tricep work because I'm trying to bring my arms up. Again, with triceps and arm work, I feel like you can have a little bit more volume because it's not as taxing on the central nervous system as say a pressing mo motion. So I just tend to pump them up and fill them full of blood. It's fucked up. I think that's fucked. I think it's fucked up. Light work. So on this, normally I'll just go to failure. I only do one, again, I do one uh, movement for chest because it's my dom most dominant part. So I'll just do a, a pec deck, one, one all out set. So with these, Vinny doesn't like them, but I prefer them because they're longer and it allows me to get a full uh, squeeze and full contraction. But why I start with the push downs first is just because even though I've done pressing motions and the dips, my elbows still feel a little bit achy. So I'll just warm it up with these and then I'll move on to overhead extensions. Oh. Hey. 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 That's the thing with low volume though, a lot of people, they don't think it's enough volume, but if you're training to absolute failure, one or two sets is enough, like I could put you through a set of leg extensions and you wouldn't want to do another leg, an actual leg workout, you'd be fucked. It's being able to take it past that point, a lot of people need high volume to be able to accumulate the intensity, um, just because they, they lack the ability to really take a set there, so um, that's what you've got to learn over time, that you can tap into more and there's always another two reps. That's what's going to make low, low volume training effective. Am I in a video? Yeah. 
Ay. 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 Fuck. I tried to do an extension with a dumbbell, um, but I've got tendonitis on my elbow, so anything is sore, so I'm gonna change over to the cables. Um, what I'm gonna do is, instead of go for weight, I'm gonna add intensifiers to it. So what you'll see me do is, you'll see me do an isometric hold for 15 seconds, partial reps and then full reps. Just allows me to use a little bit less load, but still get a decent intensity on my triceps. <laughs> Another absolutely epic session in the bag. Like everything's just clicking right now, like hitting PBs, even in different gyms with different setup. Um, really, really good session down here. Atmosphere is really good. Everybody's dead sound. Everybody's got a good gym etiquette. So it was a, and again, I'm just ticking the boxes now and just making sure that I get everything um, done on a daily basis um, and trying to bring you guys good content as much as I possibly can. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you subscribe to the channel, obviously more and more videos are coming posing videos, how I prep clients, how to, how much protein you should have, just covering every basis really, podcasts, so click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, peace.